Yellowstone volcano myth shockingly be debunked by experts, and this will surprise you, by Gerard Kaunga on Express UK, today's article. A volcano expert has dispelled the biggest Yellowstone myth that circulates about the massive supervolcano. Volcanologist Clive Oppenheimer revealed that contrary to popular belief, the Yellowstone volcano is not due an eruption, Despite expectations from other volcanologists and the public, Mr. Oppenheimer argued that there simply is not enough data to support the claim. During an exclusive interview with Express, he explained how frequently the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted and what the data we currently have indicates. He says, I think this is overplayed. Imagine with Yellowstone, there are a couple of big events in the last million years or so. Those events, I can't exactly remember what the dates are. I believe it was 800,000 years ago. Well, it was 640, they say, but anyway. So if you have got two events with a certain time interval between them, it is quite a big leap to say the next one will be exactly the same time period. So if you want to make those kinds of assertions about something being overdue, you need a lot more data. You need something that is much more frequent process. You need two events the last two events were 500 years apart, 500,000 years apart, so the next one will be 500,000 years after the last one. That's not really how volcanoes work, and it's not a sound basis. Yellowstone has erupted three times in history, as we know, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. It also, of course, erupted a smaller eruption 70,000 years ago. Scientists have previously revealed that should an earthquake occur, a volcanic eruption could follow in only two weeks. If the Wyoming volcano were to erupt, that means an estimated 87,000 people would be losing their lives immediately and two-thirds of the United States would be immediately uninhabitable because of the volcanic ash, volcanic gases, and uh, earthquakes, sonic booms, whatever, you can understand. Uh, feet and feet. Others say three meters, or like ten feet of ash would cover most of the area close to the volcano. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.